because I'm mad enough and I want to see if like this shit is going to break me out, honestly. welcome back to my channel so I look a little busted right now but just imagine that i've just been busting my butt this entire time um today is a very rainy and windy day let me see if you maybe not it's such a rainy and windy day like this morning i knew from yesterday that this morning i was gonna take an uber because it was said for me yesterday that it was supposed to rain and rain bad now this morning I decided to take an Uber and that joint was $21. You should have seen me looking online to see if I could find like a code to take some off because what is going on? And it was, I didn't find any code and I ended up paying the $21. First of all, I didn't even know where to put the code in. And when I found a spot and I put it in, it was saying that it was invalid. So I'm like, listen, whatever at this point, like I can't be bothered. So I've just been here. I can't wait to go home and sleep because I'm off tomorrow. So love that for me, but I'm on break. It's 105. My break lasts until 2 o'clock. And then when I'm done 2 o'clock, I'm pretty much going to just wrap up whatever else I have to do here, which is not much because I already did my books. If you're a CNA, then you know what books I'm talking about or like charting. But um, yeah, I'm just here. Gonna eat my lunch, drink my water. Also, I broke a nail. A nail came off. And we already know that I feel like that's the most ratchet thing in life. So, when I go home to, I want to see if I want to fix it tonight. Maybe I'll fix it tonight so that I don't have that to do tomorrow. Because tomorrow, I set a reminder for 1 o'clock to go on the avenue to buy some new scrubs. Because my scrubs, I've had them for 6 months and I just feel like I need a refresher. So, I have the reminder set to buy some new scrubs and to go by work to pick up some cake from my co-worker. So, I think I want to go do that tomorrow. I set it for 1 o'clock though and I'm really hoping that it's not going to be raining tomorrow. Because if it is, I might not go. So there's that but that is the plan to go down there buy some stuff and come back go back home and like finish up on the sleep but um yeah that's what's up right now i'm gonna eat well today is my day off and i've so far used a couple hours or maybe an hour and a half to schedule some videos and now i'm making some breakfast i'm making an omelette and what else do I have to do afterwards? I have this one nail that I have to fix. Camera battery is dying. So after I eat breakfast, I think I'm going to fix the nail along with schedules and videos. I also have to go on the road today because I want to go get some additional pairs of scrubs. And my friend said that her mom baked and she cut a piece for me. So I'm going to go pick that up too. But for the most part, I should be spending most of the day here at home. And um, when I go... I don't want to stay too long. I just want to run in, get the scrubs, run in, pick up the cake, dip, and that's it. I think I'm going to pick up the cake first so I'm not there for too long. And then after I pick up the cake, I'm going to go get the scrubs and just take the bus and come back home afterwards. So I'm not out on the road for too long because I think I do want to come back home and get a little bit of sleep. Right now it's 10 o'clock and the timeline that I'm aiming for is I want to leave here by 1 o'clock so I could be back home by 3 o'clock. So... We're going to see how that works out. I think I might end up wearing this baseball hat because I'm not going to be putting on no wig. I don't have time. And I want to fix the nail before I leave. So we're going to finish up with the breakfast and then pop back in. I need to charge this camera battery too because it's OD in right now. Hi guys, it's me again. Way later. Way later. My nails are refilled. They're not polished or anything yet. But um, they are refilled. I fixed the one that was missing. But let me tell you guys something. It's... After 12, like closer to 1 o'clock right now, 12.49. And I had a plan that I was going to leave at 1 o'clock to go on the avenue to pick up the cake for my friend and to buy some scrubs. But let me tell you, ugh, I'm also having another issue. On the days where I'm off, I find it so hard to leave the apartment for anything at all. Because I'm on the road for at least 5 days some weeks and some weeks six days so it's like the one day that i get to be home i don't want to leave for anything at all because tomorrow evening when i'm coming from work i could just pop by down there and buy the scrubs so i don't want to go today so i think i'm going to do that tomorrow evening because honestly it's in the 30s outside let me see if it's in the 30s or the 20s at this point 
And that's also another issue. Let me see. It's 28 degrees. And it feels like 21 is what this thing here is saying. And it feels so cold inside of the apartment. And I get that, like, probably during the day because they know that we work so much. They probably turn it off. But at least turn it down. Jesus Christ. Like, it's brick. As I, I had to text the man just now and ask him if if the heat is on because I'm home and it's cold. So he just texted me back and said he's going to call his sister. Let me see. I said, hi, it's Jadine. I'm home today, but it's cold in the apartment. Is the heat on? So he said, let me call my sister. Okay, thanks. And it's crazy that I waited this long to say anything because I was doing my nails this entire time. And I also forgot that I had his number, but it honestly is brick. And I feel like, you know, even on the days where you think that nobody is home, at least turn it down so it still keeps some kind of warmth inside here as opposed to it being as brick as it is outside and in, inside the apartment. I can't be bothered right now. But I'm also not going to be the person who sits up in here and not say nothing because this shit is not for free. Hell no. So, I'm glad that he responded and he's going to call the sister. But we're going to see if it warms up in here. Anyways, I'm just here. From where I'm sitting right now, it looks like I'm not going to bother going on the road because... It's just too cold and I'm not really in the mood and I feel like I could do it tomorrow. So chances are I'm going to just swing back, pick up the cake tomorrow and go get the scrubs. Also, let me show you guys when I do my nails how the place just be looking. Everything is always everywhere. Look at, look at my mannequin head. Look at the drill for my nails over there. Like everything is just everywhere always. Anyways, I need to figure out like what polish I'm going to put on them. I think I want to go pink. So I need to figure that out. At least two, maybe two shades of pink or like pink on a different pink on a different finger. I don't really know what I'm trying to do yet. But whatever it is, I'm going to figure it out and then I'll come back and show you guys. Hi guys. I feel like it's so overexposed. I feel like that is the story of my life. So I found this old wig that I apparently had for a long, long time. I was going through some snaps yesterday and realized that, that I have this for a year now. Which to me is so crazy that I've had it for a year. And I feel like I barely wore it like 10 times or whatever. So I'm just like, you know what? I think I'm going to wear it. So I've had it out from the other day. And I like curled it up and stuff to see how much I would like it. And it was okay. And I also, I'm testing out this new lace glue because I'm mad enough. And I want to see if like this shit is going to break me out, honestly. Because the other ones that I've taken, they broke me out bad. You guys, I'm sitting here and I'm talking and I honestly cannot afford this time that I'm using to talk to you guys because... Mm, oh god. It's 5.47 and I have to leave soon. Maybe like 25 minutes I have to leave. And I'm not even dressed yet. I mean, my scrubs is out. But, um, that's all. I don't have them on. I have my shoes on. So I really can't afford this time. Last night, I also had the absolute hardest time falling asleep, which was so annoying. So, so annoying. I told her to go to bed and look at her. So I was just up for a while trying to fall asleep. That wasn't really going anywhere. It was such a, such a damn drag. Okay. Anyways, now we're here. I feel like I also woke up super early. I just don't know what time because I wasn't checking. Anyways, guys. I'm going to finish eating this omelette and drinking my coffee. And... I'll see you guys later because nothing else is going on after this other than me completely getting ready and just scrambling out the door like every other morning, you know? Nothing too crazy because I want to sit around and play around like this. I also have my little vitamins that I take every morning. The one from Alive, which is a multivitamin. And the other one is vitamin D3. So, um, love that for me. And I feel like these are th these two little things have probably been the only things keeping me from getting sick because if I'm drinking this much water knowing that I'm gonna have to pee so many times it's crazy.